MIA was very heavily involved with you as well, wasn't she? She toured with you, made videos, made clothes too. Yeah, it was funny. My first American tour was opening for Elastica. Justine Frischman heard my song and um, she thought it was very ESG. She asked me to come on tour with her and um, Maya, M-I-A, was her videographer and her roommate. And so Maya would film a lot and she, she just asked me a lot of questions about what I was doing and she related to what I, uh, uh, what I was doing in a way back in Sri Lanka when she would listen to hip hop and, and have that feeling of freedom. And so, so she was inspired. And I had this machine called the Roland Groovebox MC505, which was one machine. You didn't use it with a laptop. People didn't really have laptop music. So she got a machine and started to use it. So, yeah. I just love this story because my first show in London was at 93 feet east. I had asked Feist to come over from Europe. I'm like, come on, get out of Canada. You're, you're a superstar waiting to happen. Work with me and then I'm sure you're going to start to get into your, your own style. So, so she was playing with me there. Uh, Maya was filming and Justine was there and then we all slept at Justine's house and uh, I didn't have a sound person so this person showed up and he's like oh I'm the house sound guy and it was Paul Epworth really yeah <laughs> and the legendary producer yeah, yeah. and Feist and I was were both um had little crushes on him so we're like oh let's invite him back to like you know Justine's house and we just all sat around and it's just like we were so innocent and just giggling and hanging out and I just think it's such a funny little circle if someone had, it had like a it was a fly on the wall just going like what? <laughs> what happened to these people? Wow. 